Hi friends, this is Deep Basu and welcome to my channel Think Deep. I'm back and I'm going to review the film Gunjan Saxena The Kagil Girl. Well, this movie premiered yesterday on Netflix. I think because of the pre-independence release. And if you guys personally know me, most of my friends they know that I watch usually watch my films on a Friday, Saturday and a Sunday. And due to this, most of my friends complain that I post my reviews pretty late. So yesterday I made up my mind to watch it right away so I can post my review today. So Gunjan Saxena means the Gunjan Saxena. I'm sure most of you know. Uh, Gunjan Saxena was uh, the first woman to be part of the Air Force. And at the age of 24, she was part of the Kargil War. My God. And I was really very ashamed to watch after watching the film. Because at the age of 24, I was doing nothing with my life. Even at the age of 33, I'm doing nothing. What were you guys doing when you were 24? I don't know. Imagine this, uh, the Gunjan Saxena. At the age of 24, she was part of the Kargil War. She was part of the rescue team. My God. Means her bravery, I definitely. And she got a award, a national award for her bravery. My God, I salute her. Absolutely. And the biopic was quite inspiring. And the bi biopic, I love the way the writer Sharan Sharma, uh, they wrote it pretty well and pretty uh, crisp. The movie basically focuses on how the challenges, what are the challenges Gunjan faces when she joins the Air Force. Because after all, she's the first woman. And that time, Air Force was quite male dominant. So what are the challenges she faces, how she overcomes, and how what really happens. That's basically the main motive of the movie and if you watch the trailer carefully that's what the story is and I love the fact the story doesn't get into much of a about her past like many stories you find back and forth they always show the past they always show the present sometimes the viewers get very confused but the good part about this uh, film is that it doesn't focus much about her past the movie begins showing showcasing her past how she was intrigued by seeing airplanes she always wanted to be a pilot and I love the scene where she enters the cockpit for the first time and she gets so intrigued and she makes up her mind that she's going to be a pilot when she grows up and how that graduates into a Air Force pilot and how she joins the Air Force and after that the entire movie focuses on the IAF, the Kargil war and by the way this is not a war movie initially when I saw the review, when I saw the trailer I thought it's a war film like Border, like LOC, like other war films but it's not a war film though it has various action sequences very well shot even I really I love the DOP also of the film the director of photography the way he has shot the film is it didn't make it look like a war film so it's not a war film maybe the trailer might make you feel it's a war film how a woman you know how she becomes a Kalima and she fights it's not that it's not very pretentious it's very real and I love the way Gunjan's character is very consistent throughout the film uh, beginning, if you see Gunjan, she appears to be pretty timid, very soft-spoken and, and her character remains consistent throughout and uh, uh, being that timid and a soft-spoken soft person, how she you know, makes her way, how she proves a point and various sequences seemed very real to me and, uh, and, I, and definitely it was uh, quite an eye-opener for me because that time Gunjan and I really felt for Gunjan how she faced, what are the things she faced because uh, for example like, if, like a boy I'm, I'm basically I'm pushed to a women dominated place and there are no male toilets what would I have, what would I have done? so I could really relate to the character and I really felt for Gunjan what she basically went through just in order to prove herself, work triple hard just to prove herself that you know I'm also you know I'm also equal to the men out there. So various sequences were pretty real. The performances were very good. I love the person who steals the show is Pankaj Tripathi. You just can't get enough of Mr. Pankaj Tripathi. He was superb as Gunjan's father. And um, I should also uh, talk about Janvi Kapoor. She has done a great job. And after seeing a debut film, I didn't find her that promising. But frankly speaking. Janvi Kapoor has done a great job. I'm sure many people, means after the trailer was launched, many people ignored it. Many people wanted to boycott the film because of nepotism and etc, etc and all that. But trust me, Janvi Kapoor has done a great job. And definitely I could see Gunjan Hina. And I love the way she was consistent throughout. She was good, yeah. Janvi Kapoor should do more films. She has great potential. And apart from that, uh, 
Vineet Kumar Singh has done a good job. Vineet Kumar Singh, Mahi Vij, right? Ha, Manav Vij, Aisha Raza Mishra, Angad Bedi uh, has a very small role. He plays uh, Gunjan's brother. He was also part of the army. He plays a small role but has done a great job. So overall, all the performances are very much intact and very real. And overall, the film is quite inspiring and I began to cry. When there's a, there's a dialogue in the film when uh, uh, the, I, the, the person who was taking a Gunjan's test uh, tells Gunjan's father that, you know, if God wants to make her fly, who are we to reject her? So these dialogues really, you know, I was quite teary eyed. Because when you're destined to do something and you're determined to do something, no one can stop you. So Gunjan Saxena as a film works for me. The music by Amit Trividi also is really good and soothing. I'm happy to see Amit Trividi back and I really love the music. Music is quite in sync with the script. And the good part is the movie is within two hour duration. It's not a long drawn war film. It's not a war film. It's definitely a drama, inspiring, motivating and definitely, you know, it will teach you a lot. But I felt very ashamed of myself because at the age of 22, I was doing shit. So guys, this is my review for Gunjan Saxena, The Kagel Girl. It's a good watch. And I'm sure if this movie released at the theatres also, it would have done very well. And kudos to the debut director, Sharan Saxena. Uh, it is his debut film. He has been an AD of Ye Jawani Hai Diwani and he's been an assistant to Ayan Mukherjee. As a first time director, Sharan, Sharan Sharma, you've done a great job. All the best for your career and to the team of Gunjan Saxena. All the best to Janvi Kapoor. I really like the film. So do watch it when you guys have time and do share your point of view. And do let me know if I missed out on anything. And overall, it's a very well, uh, very good looking film with good performance and good patch packaging. So Gunjan Saxena, the Kagil girl it is. So guys, I sign off. Please subscribe to my channel without fail. Bye. I'll be back again soon, I think with Sarak too. I hope it's nice. I hope you like the trailers. Goodbye.